All right, before we get training today, I gotta get energized up. We got some different types of tomatoes. Got my little cherry tomatoes right here. And I got my yellow pear tomatoes. Mm. Get some fuel and do some training today. For today's training, we're gonna be taking a look at some empty hand fighting techniques that I want to share with you today. So if you like training some empty hands in the art of Kali with me, please do me a quick little favor. Give a thumbs up to this video. Subscribe by hitting the subscribe button right below. Leave me a cool comment below, something that maybe I'd like to reply back to. And let's go and get to today's training on some empty hand techniques. The empty hands that we're taking a look at today is going to be utilizing a very strong part of our body, which is our forearms. In Kali, we have several ways that we can use our forearms for striking. Forearms are great. It's a very solid part of the body, especially the outer form right here. They can deliver a lot of power. They're pretty quick, so they can cause a lot of devastation on the opponent. At the same time, they also can offer us more protection because especially when we're striking on the backhand, which is our angle two forearm strikes, you're gonna notice that these start def you know, putting an X right in front of our body, almost like a shield or like a wall right in front of us that help to provide us some protection. Now obviously, you know, when you're protecting one part of your body, another part of your body is gonna be exposed. So this is why in Kali, there's a lot of footwork, you have to be dynamic, and you have to know what the pros and cons are of each different type of strike on the offensive and also on the defensive portion of the strikes. So we have two basic methods of striking with our forearms. The first one, which is gonna probably be the most common one and the easier one, is utilizing the outside of the form right here. Now, we could go ahead and strike with our forehand strikes or our angle one and our vertical strikes just like this. And there's a lot of different techniques that we can strike with utilizing our forms right here. So I'm gonna give you just some basic ones. From here, we can strike with our number ones, but more commonly, we're gonna strike with that backhand angle two right here. Bop, right there. And that's gonna give us some more coverage, give us a pretty good amount of protection. Let's go ahead and turn to Bob so we can look at some of the basic targeting areas on the body. Got our dirty Bob here right now. He's a trooper. Bob is a great partner. He allows us to start working that accuracy of different target selections and everything. So let's take a look at different target zones on Bob to utilize our forearm strikes with on the outside form right here. Now there's a couple, three basic areas that we want to strike the body right here. Number one, obviously going right towards that temple. So anywhere right here on the side of the face between the ear, temple, and mandible is going to be a highly effective zone, target zone, to strike with your forearms. And the beautiful thing about forearms is that they don't always look like a whole lot, but man, they do a lot of damage and they offer a lot of power. Another area is the bridge of the eyes, bridge of the nose right there. That's another spot that we aim for to go ahead and strike. Now the good thing is we're going for the center mass of the face right here, whether it's on the side of the face or towards the front of the face. So even if you know we miss that center mass and we start clipping other areas of the face, it's still gonna be highly effective. And even though striking the face with a forearm strike, it may not cause like a knockout instantly or anything like that, it is gonna move the head, which is going to rotate the body, which is going to allow you to get multiple strikes in using either forearms or you can upgrade into those elbow strikes, headbutts, and open up some of those other target zones low line for the knee strikes, the kicks, and all the other empty hand techniques that Kali has to offer. A third target zone, one of my favorite target zones for the forearm strikes is right to the neck. You know, you can start to hit that carotid artery right there and that can cause a knockout. Especially once you pinch that carotid artery deep enough, then it could be lights out for Bob or any opponent that you might be fighting. So when you're working your forearm strikes, if you have a bob, go ahead and start working them basic with these different target zones. And again, there's a lot of different techniques. I'm just giving you a couple techniques. You could be creative on your own training, uh, but you can go ahead and strike with that forehand, the forehand strikes and the backhand strikes and start working on those different zones. If you don't have a bob dummy, then go ahead and use anything that you could strike. Use a heavy bag or anything, a padded, 
pole or something and just kind of put little X's of where these target zones would be, uh, would be at and then you can start working in all those different strikes. Technique number two on our forearm strikes is utilizing the inside of the forearm right here. So this is like almost like a clothes lining type of technique and this starts to enter us into dumogs where we can start manipulating the body in a push and or a pull type of fashion. And this is one of the great things about forearm strikes is that we get attachments and once we have attachments onto our opponent then we can start getting into different grappling situations and techniques and throws and takedowns and sweeps and all that stuff as well. So the forearms are great for the striking area of the empty hands and it's also great for entering into the grappling area of the Kali empty hands. Moving back to Bobby, let's go ahead and take a look at our inside forearm strikes. We have pretty much the same targeting zones. Right? We go right into the uh, temple or bridge. Basically this band that goes around the head right here from the ear, temple, eyes, bridge of the nose, all the way around is gonna be a great target selection for this. So bop, you can go ahead and strike him right there with the inside forearms. And again, sometimes you can go ahead and get the neck as well, anywhere along the neck. So even if I end up getting to that flank position, we can come around right into the nape of the neck. That can be a knockout. Uh, it can cause severe damage to the opponent, especially as you're training these techniques and you're developing a lot of speed, momentum, and power transfer. It can become extremely, extremely dangerous when you're striking people into the nape of the neck there. Could cause paralysis, all kinds of different things. But these are great techniques, self-defense techniques that you can use striking with your forearms. Striking with the back, the outside of the forearm, and striking with the inside of the forearm. When striking with your forearms, there's a little bit of conditioning that you're probably gonna have to do to the inside of the forearms. A lot of people that don't train this uh, method of using the forearms, this side has more nerve clusters and things, so it's gonna take some conditioning, some tempering, to toughen up the inside of your forearms. All right, so you gotta do some training, you gotta do some tempering, some conditioning to get this part hardened up. So on your bob dummy, on your heavy bag, anything for impact training, work through your different forearm strikes. Just start nice and slow right here. You could even start adding in some elbows and start looking at some of these combinations of how they can go together right here. Bah, right there. You can slap this. Come back with your number two, hack of the form, and then clothesline them right there that would be entering you into the dumog or into the grappling portion. You also start playing around with your empty hand, your closed fist strikes right here, and then see if you can start entering in with those forearm strikes. Maybe a jab, cross, and instead of going into a hook, you can go into the inside form for more of a clothesliner or entering this into some sweeps, throws, and different types of takedowns. So you just have to play around with your own combinations right now, right, and just play with it and see what you can come up with. Right there. Strike, you can control with the forearms. So much you can do with your forearm techniques. I hope you like this video. I hope that it gives you some new ideas on your empty hand Kali training, adding in those forearm strikes using both the outside and the inside of the forearm strikes. And maybe we'll go ahead and come back if I get enough thumbs ups and comments below that you guys are enjoying the empty hand stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys some different empty hand techniques that we can start utilizing in our training in different types of scenarios and stuff. Especially once I get, you know, Tom or Ollie or whoever's coming out here to do some training, we'll get some other videos and I'll I'll show you guys you know some of the techniques with some live action and different uh, opponents and all that stuff and we'll start working through different types of resistance that can happen that your opponent can give you and then how you can start working around or through that type of resistance right, if you want to see that stuff I got to get some thumbs up on this video I got to get some great comments on this video right here so that way I know you're with me and you're watching the video all the way through so that way I know that you want that type type of uh, training and then I want to give it to you. Take your training further with me over at my online school. I've got a great deal that is going on. Just head over to KaliApex.com and you can learn all about the deal that I've got going on where you can get access to my entire online school. Everything that I've put up there, all the programs, all the training courses, and uh, there's just a ton and ton and tons of training that is just waiting for you over at 
our online school. So to grab the deal that I'm talking about, to see what the deal is, to grab it now, head over to KaliApex.com. Got the link right below in the description. So click that, get over there, and I'll see you inside over at the Kali Center Online School. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and if you want some access to the exclusive stuff that's right here on YouTube, click the join button right below this video and become a channel sponsor starting off at only $1.99. And it's some pretty sweet stuff that I'm putting over there for our sponsors. All right, I'm gonna catch you back here next time for some more Kali training, some more Kali fun. Get outside and go make nature your Kali dojo.